All right, so we are back on the trail after a 1.8 mile walk to Newcomb Ranch Restaurant and a great breakfast. And luckily we got a hitch back. That's awesome. So now, uh, now we're gonna try to make it to Canada today because we feel like a million dollars. Well, the clouds moved in from the valley last night and my tent had a little bit of condensation in it so um, the tow box on my sleeping bag was a little damp this morning uh, which is normal when it's a really kind of damp night but uh, anyhow I've just got it drying in the sun while I'm making tea this morning. I've been drinking this dandelion root tea. Uh, it's actually pretty good and I've been using some local honey in hopes that uh, It'll help with my allergies a little bit. So we just smelled marijuana, or I did anyhow. I don't know if he did or not, but anyhow, it's that poodle dog bush that's all around. I thought somebody was lighting it up in the parking lot, but they weren't. That's it right there too. Damn. Ooh, that's it right there. Ooh. Wait, where is it? Right next to your leg. That's it right there. There. I look at trees like this. That thing is burned to the middle and like it's still living. I just don't even understand how. We got a trail that goes that way and a sign that says Pacific Crest Trail that way. And then we have a trail that goes this way and a sign that says Pacific Crest Trail this way. So, um, yeah. Clear as mud. I reckon this is the right path. So up there on that ridge, if you can see a black top shining, apparently that's where we will be walking. Hopefully tonight we'll do some night hiking on it. This is Poodle Dog Bush in bloom. I have been waiting to see that. That's awesome. It's a pretty day. see it in this video but kind of like snow makes everything prettier so does the darkness and the moonlight it's like all the blues and grays and the light shining on the trees and the silhouettes of them and like contrasting on the sky that's light behind it is just so pretty can't be put into words so those are the lights of LA and it's a lot brighter here in person, but you can see it a little bit. We have made it to the campground. It is another beautiful day in the desert. Heading to the KOA, which is 14 miles from where we camped last night. Check out those rocks over there. Thank God and Greyhound made it to the KOA. Look at all of this hiker trash at the KOA. Oh man, they have all sorts of goodies. This little camp store. We got a pepperoni pizza here, a large, and a <laughs> little bitty pitiful excuse of a Pizza. I've got some Japs left. And the man pizza has just a few pieces left, but we're saving our stomachs for Chinese. Round two. So this was my first cowboy camping experience on this trail in PCT. And it's here at the KOA. <laughs> Which is pretty funny. 
heading to Agua Dulce today, right after I drink me some coffee. So I've made it to the big old rocks I saw yesterday and looks like a huge cow patty from this angle. Got a 10 mile day today to Agua Dulce and uh, apparently there's a cool hostel there and some restaurants. So I think this next little stretch is basically gonna be all like town hopping, uh, which is an exciting change from having like um, two back to back, you know, five to six days out uh, and carrying a lot of food. So a lighter pack is wonderful. You run into some odd things sometimes. I don't really know what or why this is here, but uh, it is. So these are the Vasquez rocks and well, part of them, I reckon. Uh, and a, a lot of movies, I guess, were filmed in this area, including Planet of the Apes, the 2001 version, and Star Trek. Among many others, apparently some of the Twilight Zone episodes, it's pretty cool. So we're thinking that this is the formation from Planet of the Apes. And if not, it looks a lot like it. Made it to town and look at all of the packs, Linda. Check it out. Got a ways to go. We are getting a ride to the hostel in this sweet ride right here. I have to ask you how much have you had to drink before you drive? <laughs> <laughs> um, I think I've had about eight ounces of uh, root beer. Oh no. <laughs> what did you get a ticket for? No registration, no insurance, uh, unlicensed vehicle on the highway. Oh my god. I mean, you know, highway patrol, they just think, you know, they just go through their book and start yeah. putting stuff. Yeah. <laughs> but then, both he and I went to court. Judge dismissed the case, because I brought all this stuff with me. Oh, that's good. You know? There he goes. So this is Hiker Heaven, and this is the little tent that has loaner clothes and towels and whatnot and this is like the technology tent so you got laptops in here hey guys <laughs> and outlets to plug stuff in and then here is like a repair tent sodas and boxes to package up stuff that you want to send home and they have a perk <laughs> where you hang your packs and this is where everybody camps. Do all men shave their head while dr drinking Knob Creek? <laughs> gonna hurt. <laughs> where are all the buttons? That's to release it? Oh, that's, that's like a lever to like change the... That's, that's the shortest, shortest set. Are you sure you want me to do this part? Yeah. Oh, that is uncomfortable. Oh! Oh. oh. I do what kind of technique is that? What do you mean? Ah. <laughs> yeah. Is yeah. that better? Oh. That's like way better. <laughs> like you're back. Do I have to hold it like? Yeah. Uh -huh. Down, but take a towel and wipe the bod and get that hair off because you're going to be itching all night long. The shower, the list is 30. Yeah. I, don't, yeah. I don't feel the rubbing. We said rub. <laughs> there we go. So, this place is essentially a free hostel that Trail Angels just decided to set up to help hikers out. And that's honestly just crazy. Like, it's awesome to be part of a community that does stuff like this but um just the fact that they support you know our little world i don't know it's just it's just really neat and uh don't ask for anything in return you know but these are the types of experiences that you encounter on a long distance hiking trail and it you know it makes you want to pay it forward and and show somebody the same like kindness just to a stranger you know that you receive from people so i don't know this is very cool So we caught up with Perk here at the Hiker Heaven in Agua Dulce and um, we we're supposed to be going to have breakfast this morning but Perk is apparently 
sick and thrown up, but um, he's going to continue on and uh, Chance, I guess his knee is pretty hurt and he's going to the doctor today. Uh, this is the point where I go home for my brother's graduation. Mayor is going to let me ride with him back to the East Coast and um, then yeah, I'll have to get back on and maybe try to catch up with Perk depending on if he ends up waiting in the Sierras or what. We'll, we'll see. But yeah, it really is hard to um, to leave the trail just like it was on the AT uh, when I had to leave for my brother's graduation. You know, you get close to people around you. It is kind of tough. Um, and I know when I get back, I'm gonna wanna catch up to Perk and uh, Chance if he's still in trail, which hopefully he will be. But um, yeah, so it's, it, is, it is tough having to do this. And if I do the CDT next year, then I'll, I'll have this situation again. But I guess it wouldn't be a through hike without having to go home for a graduation. Uh, we were disappointed to find that the truck had two flat tires and um, he was locked out of it. What? These people are crazy. Oh! Welcome to LA. About to go see the Pacific Ocean for the first time. I figure I'm this close. Now's the time. Might as well do it. Now I just called an Uber, waiting for them to come pick me up, and I'll be heading back to the trail. It's kind of bittersweet. I mean, I'm happy to get back to the trail and everything, but you know, I got used to hiking with Kyle and Perk, and um, you know, I'm not gonna know anybody on the trail where I get on. And I here I had time with my family and my dogs, and you know, all that. So it's just gonna be a little, a little weird getting back, especially heading back to a place where I left from, like having so much fun. So, but. It's all part of the adventure and there's just no telling what lies ahead.